Hello everybody, how are you doing? Welcome to my YouTube channel, Salsa and Pachada Moves, where I break down Salsa and Pachada Moves. My name is Alexandros, I'm from the island of Cyprus, Nicosia, the capital, and you are most welcome to come whenever you are in our lovely island. I hope you're healthy, and in this video we're going to break down in three ways, once again, a nice footwork. This is a little bit more towards my area of doing some crazy little stuff like that. I have a video somewhere here on the left where you can learn this step as well because I don't want to take too much time in one step. It's a little choreography. So first, I'm going to be doing it to count so you can see if you have something that you want to steal and keep for yourself. Then I'm going to do the lesson and slower with counting and explaining the feet and then ending up the video with music. Let's start with count. And one, two, three. Five, six, seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 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 One, two, three, four, five, and six, and seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All right? So it, it looks very on the spot, very down to earth. But when you see it to speed and to music, it's really what's, what's going on with the footwork there. So let me explain. Let's go for the lesson. We go slow. One, two, three, five, six. On one, we cross. One, two, we go back and we turn diagonally. Three, we tap the heel. Then four, five, Six, seven, we tap, eight, you step. All right, one more time. One, two, three, here we go, cross diagonally. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and bend the knee so you can go one, two, three. Here, make sure you keep it as much as you can time on your left side. Yeah, you don't want to have it dragging behind or worse, dragging in front of you and point out. So one, two, three, TBD in with the heel, five, six, cross on seven, out heel on eight. Then one, two, three, you've got all the time in the world here. Four, you can do one on the squat. Four, and then five, six, seven, eight. You really have to progress with feet together. And, well, let's take it from here. We go back here and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why do you need to have your feet pointing to the right? Because now you're gonna go out, in, out, in, out, in. So it's much easier to start from here. This one goes circle and the other one goes out, in, out, in. I know it's a little bit difficult, guys. It's like in the pachanga, instead of shooting forward, we do a circle, and instead of going to the left, we're going opposite to the right. So that will take some practice. So from here, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, then one, two, three, four, we're moving to the left. That means you have to be on the ball of your foot and on the heel to the right, so you can continue to progress. Then on your heel on the left, and on the ball of the foot on the right. So that's the only way you can really progress. But we only do it two times because it's one, two, three, four. Easy, yeah? Now from here, this is the video that I'm gonna have here in the info cards that you can check it out. Five, six, seven, eight, and. So out is like it's shooting with the ball of the foot and the heel, shooting the foot out, come in, shoot the foot out, come in, do it one more time and straighten up. You can even do faster, one, two, three, four, so five, six, seven, eight. So you have really the foot. One, two, three, on four heel, five, six, seven, shimmy the foot. One, two, three, jump. Now you gotta really use your inductors to push yourself up. And you're pretending that you're pushing and putting some power. And one, two, three, five, six, seven. That's it guys. Not very complicated explanation, quite simple. If you like, just rewind it and watch whatever you like. Now number three, let's go to music. <laughs> 